In section 8.3, we take a look at testing a claim made about a population mean using a hypothesis test. Now, in this particular problem, we're going to try to find the p-value when we're given the test statistic. Now, remember, p-value is the probability of us obtaining that value of the test statistic or a value that's more extreme. Now, first thing that we have to do is we have to recognize if it's a one-tailed or two-tailed test. So, let's take a look at the claim. It says the claim is that for a smartphone carrier's data speeds at airports, the mean is mu equal to 17. The sample size is n equals 12, and the test statistic is 2.024. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's write out what the original claim is, and then we'll figure out if it's a one-tailed or two-tailed test. Now you could tell right away that this is gonna be a two-tailed test, but let's just go ahead and go through the steps just for practice. So first, let's write out what the original claim is, and that's mu is equal to 17. Now we'll have to write out what would be true if the original claim was false. Well, that would be mu is not equal to 17. Now the null hypothesis, remember, always includes equals. So we have mu is equal to 17. And then the alternative hypothesis, we take a look at steps one and two. The alternative hypothesis is the one that does not include the equal to sign. So this would be mu is not equal to 17. So since our alternative hypothesis contains the does not equal to symbol, that means that this is a two-tailed test. So now let's go back to the original problem and then we'll open up StackCrunch and we'll figure out what the p-value is. Go to get more help. Let's open up StackCrunch. Let's do a side by side view. Okay, so now when we're given the test statistic and we're trying to figure out what the p value is, we're going to go to stat, calculators, and then we're going to go to t. Since this has to do with the population mean, we go to stat, calculators, and then t. Now we're going to go ahead and enter the degrees of freedom. Remember, the degrees of freedom is the sample size minus one. So our sample size here is 12, so the number of degrees of freedom will be 11. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter our test statistic, 2.024. And since our test statistic is to the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click on greater than or equal to. And now this would be the p-value if this was a one-tailed test. But now since this is a two-tailed test, we actually have to double this value. We have to multiply it by two. So if this was just one tailed, this would be the given p-value. But since it's a two tailed test, we have to go ahead and take that and multiply it by two. And that will give us the p-value for a two tailed test. So I have 0 0.033, let's go 97. And I'll go ahead and multiply that by two. This gives me 0 0.06794. So rounding that to two decimal places, sorry, three decimal places, this gives me 0 